Hey, How To Heaven viewers. So today what we're gonna do is we are going to be unboxing and doing an unboxing review. It's not a full review because I haven't used this device yet. I just wanted to show you so thanks again for watching how to heaven and today we're going to do a review it's an unboxing actually it's really not an unboxing actually it is an unboxing what are we talking about I have and probably well actually not probably really I have three compressors one is a huge uh, two-stage 80 gallon compressor the second one is like a 20 gallon compressor on two wheels and it's got a one horsepower, horse and a half uh, horsepower engine on it or motor and it's electric 110. The big one's 220. And then I have a real small portable one which is an oil list. I never liked an oil list but um, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. So I came across an oil list compressor. It was a pretty good deal. I bought it and it's proved invaluable for remote uh, jobs like putting baseboard in and um, anything that requires a small amount of air, not a high CFM. So you're not going to paint a car. You can fill tires and do things like that. The problem with that compressor is that it is loud. It's screechingly loud. And uh, it just, it's, it's not a good compressor just because of the noise. Everything else about it is great. Uh, I don't like the tank size. It's a really small tank size, but you know what? It serves its purpose, or it did, until I came across this latest compressor. And that was uh, because I was looking at a Harbor Freight ad, and they had this uh, super ultra quiet for 159. I started looking around, and for those of you who shop at Harbor Freight, and I do, I mean, you know, if you're a professional, you're using your tools every day, you're probably not going to be buying your tools from Harbor Freight. But if you are like me, you're a do-it-yourself or, or even an extreme do-it-yourselfer, which what, that's what I consider myself, because the projects that I take on are pretty large. And you can tell from my uh, Ultimate Garage series, I've restored cars, I've painted cars, I've built pools, I mean, you name it. So I needed a compressor for portability and I was looking at the Harbor Freight ad, theirs was 189 on sale for 159 ultra quiet. I saw a few reviews and I thought, wow, that looks like a really good compressor for what I need it for. And again, you know, using a Brad Nailer, putting trim on, I'm restoring a uh, condo right now, I've restored several condos, townhouses. So I need something small and portable, but the other one I had was just way, way, way too loud. So when I came across that ad, I thought, wow, this looks like a really good deal, 159, yeah, you know. And what I was getting to before was that Harbor Freight, like a lot of uh, companies, what they do is they reel you in with ultra low prices initially, and then they just inch their way up. And you know, with the political climate in uh, China, it's no wonder that their prices are going up. But the Harbor Freight ultra quiet compressor for 159 just didn't seem like, my gut feeling was I think I can find it cheaper. And sure enough, I went on eBay and I did find it cheaper and I'll uh, include a photo of that and the person that I bought it from or the company that I bought it from a little bit later. Uh, turns out it was from Canada, but they shipped to the U.S. and the price was really good. I mean, really good. It made Harbor Freight look like uh, Snap-on as far as prices are concerned. Uh, as far as quality is concerned, I think they're the same unit. I actually think they're built in the same factory. Uh, one of them gets painted silver and the other one gets painted orange. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing and then I'm going to run it and you can hear it. Okay. So here's the unit and before I start, I'm going to give you a tool tip. So you have probably used one of these. It's a retractable uh, razor blade. It's a uh, single edge razor blade utility knife. 
I've used these for years and one thing I've learned is if you're making a cut you're opening a box, make your cuts, open your box and as soon as you're done retract the blade and make sure it goes all the way because some of these lock like short like this one does but all the way before you put it in your pocket or even move your hands because inevitably you will cut yourself at some point. Use it and lose it just like that. Lose that blade. All right so here we go and let's see what we got here. Like there's an instruction manual. Dura Twist Portable Oil Free Free Black Silent Series Compressor Operating Instructions. Um, pretty sure most of you know how to operate it. You plug it in, you turn it on, it starts pumping, you put your air hose in, you set your pressures, you're good to go. But um, I always keep these around. You never know, you might need parts or something. Okay, so let's get this baby out of here. It's really not that heavy. I mean, you know, you can lift it with one hand. It comes up pretty easily. Here we've got here. So you've got some rubber feet. They're pretty thick rubber feet. They're not held on by much more than one little bolt. Here's your water drain. Huh, shipped with a little bit of air. Straight out of Canada. Or, well, in this case, probably China. And what you've got here is You've got actually two pressure gauges, which is pretty impressive because most of these compressors only come with one pressure gauge and then you set your pressure uh, on that one gauge. So, we've got two pressure gauges. This one here is tank pressure and that one there is outlet pressure. Here's your regulator and here's your quick release. So, let's keep going. And now, what we have here is cord storage. It's pretty nice. It's got these welded on tabs here for cord storage. You unstore your cord. And what I like is a lot of places will put the cord storage on, but they miss the boat. They put the cord storage on, there's some hooks there, and they forget. This little built-in clip, I love these, because that's the only thing that's gonna hold this cord on. Without it, you end up with something like this. And I bought this from Sears years ago. It didn't have cord storage. So you reel it all up and it's all great and fine. And at the very end, that's what happens. And sure enough, this cord will come out and will go all over the place. And so much for the reel because it's not really helping you out. All right, back to the compressor. So what you have here is, this is your, rate, your uh, switch. So this turns on the AC and then there's a pressure uh, switch inside of here. And this is set, you can't change that. I mean, you could if you opened it up, but it's preset. And what happens is it gets up to 135 PSI, the switch makes or, or undoes, and then you don't get power to your compressor anymore, and it's done, it stops working. Um, the motor stops, you got your 135 PSI, got your one gallon tank right here, got this nice metal, it's all metal construction. It's pretty thick too. Um, it's, you can bang it around, you're not gonna break it and it's cradled. So what do we have on the back side? What we have here is a nice little motor with uh, two pumps. And so it's, it's kind of a two-stage unit. Um, the air comes in through this air cleaner here, and then it goes back and forth through these two pumps, and then it goes down into the tank in this what looks to be a braided line. And um, then you've got a capacitor over here, so it's a capacitor start. And then, you have a reset in case it overheats. You've got a little reset there on the capacitor. So that is your basic compressor. Now, let's see what this baby does. That is ultra quiet, just like the box says. And this uh, pressure here, it's going up pretty fast. I mean, we're at uh, 25 PSI. It's going up to about 50 PSI. Let me show you that, get you close. Now, you're really close in there, so it should be amplified. I don't know what it's gonna sound like, but uh, I can tell you that it's ultra quiet. So, I'm gonna put you back 
up on the tripod and you can see and hear from probably standing distance. There you go. And you can see that the pointer is almost in the red zone, right there. And as soon as it gets to the red zone, or actually before it gets to the red zone, it should automatically shut off. And like I said, I'm not raising my voice, I'm just talking in a normal tone of voice. So when it shuts off, you'll see the difference in sound because uh, one, when I'm talking and it's on, and two, when I'm talking and it's off. And it seems like it's not a linear pump up because right now it's taking a lot longer to get that final little push in to top off the tank. And it's gonna, looks like it's gonna stop right at the red zone, which is good because that means it's a well-matched unit. And there you have it. Uh, normal tone of voice, that baby shut off. I don't hear any leaks and uh, I'm in love with this thing so far. So the other compressor I have is gonna go on Craigslist because this one is just, it looks like it's everything it should be with that little small one gallon tank. Should handle my Brad Nailer pretty well. So here's a couple of ultra quiet units that Harbor Freight sells. And you can see the one is a two gallon, it's 159. That's what started this whole adventure. And then they have a one gallon for 139. So that's what started this. And what I did was I went to eBay and here's what I found. So on eBay, there's a compressor and you can see it and it's 111.99 with a C. So what does the C mean? That's Canadian. So you figure, geez, if it's 111 plus shipping on, in, uh, in Canada, how much is that really? So here's what it really is in the United States. You get it shipped to your door and you're gonna end up paying somewhere around uh, 95, 96 bucks delivered. And I don't know if you caught the seller, but here's the seller right there, Tool King. All right, again, I don't get a penny. Um, nobody's paying me, independent review. Looks like it's gonna do everything I need it to do. And at 95 bucks, that sure beats Harbor Freight. And uh, it's sure better than my other compressor. So, so far, it's a good deal. I think it's well worth it, and I'm not gonna be using it anytime soon. Actually, I take that back. I'm gonna fill some tires right now. All right, so uh, thanks for watching How To Heaven, and keep working out there in that garage.